Chess friends, how are you? Today Alpha Zero invented an another legendary and superb opening which you can apply in your games and shock your opponent, I played with black pieces and this game turned into completely miraculous where Alpha Zero sacrificed his knight, so let's go, Alpha started the game with e4, we have c5 knight f3 and black can go with d6, let me show you the variation, d4 take take knight f6 and the chess trap lies in dragon variation of Sicilian, play f4 and drink cold drink. Cold drink is good for health to increase immunity system in human bodies, black should go for knight d7 but if he dare to play knight d5 he will fall in our trap, bishop b5 check, bishop can't block it as the knight can capture his competitor, knight c6 is wasted as you spend money on expensive things to make your friends jealous, a common practice among many girls, such as buying a necklace or a diamond ring, so here if black plays king f8, play castle to pressure it. Knight c6 is the best but if he captured the knight he will invite the knight to a nightmare, sacrificing the knight to checkmate black by queen takes d8, so back to the position, I play e6. If you don't make the time to work on creating the life you want, you're eventually going to be forced to spend a lot of time dealing with a life you don't want, so if you play knight c6, let me show you the variation, bishop f4, e5, looks like a powerful move but after bishop e3, Black will face terrible condition with his queen position, c3 and the knight is very annoying right, if you dare to kick out the knight with a6 then we will play knight c6. That's the key move of this move to open the diamond's treasure box, so queen runs out to d8, knight check take take. King slides, bishop to c5, laser into the king, king g8 bishop c4 and that's it, black is completely losing the game, he has nothing to do with it, so back to the game, I played a6 frist, he goes with danger level, bishop e3, so queen a5 knight backs on c3, white need to play some natural developing moves and do you know a fact, there is a city Norway called hell. What the hell is happening with the queen, queen b4 can't possible because a3 will simply block all the queen squares, she will be trapped so here I move back my queen on c7, a4, a5 is coming to dominate the b6 square like a king dominates over his people, so if you think socialism is the best, a5, stopping the pawn to move, but knight b5 will create a challenging position in center, the d6 pawn will be injured, so back to the position, we have knight f6, a5 to get the square, queen c6 queen d4. Alpha want to play long castle, to create pressure to the d6 pawn, knight g4 and he played an amazing move, knight d5, as creative as Einstein invented the law of relativity, if you capture it then after takes, the queen need to run, queen takes knight and look at the position, the king is in middle of the desert, the pawn is protecting these squares, white have more mobility of pieces. In comparison to black, so here we have knight takes e3, takes knight f6, rather than playing castle in kingside alpha played castle in long side, that's better, he want to attack me immediately on the board, when your opponent's pieces are not in right combination, structure is bad, you should immediately counter black, queen takes e4 isn't possible because of knight takes d6, so after knight takes e4 knight b6, rook b8 bishop to c4, rook e1 is coming to use this diagonal, even alpha can play knight d5. In this position if you dare to play d5, thinking, wow, that's a great wall, no idiot, I can capture it with the knight, take take, queen run out to g6, bishop c6 check. You can't capture the bishop, because of queen d8, so if you play king e7, we will give him a check, queen blocks knight check, backs check and mate. Life teaches us through errors, when we accept the lesson from our mistake with humility and gratitude, we grow that much more, so I played bishop e7, knight d5, surprising move, because if you capture it then after takes, the queen and the knight will be under attack at the same time, the king behaves like a lazy person, unwilling to get out of bed and execute a castle, so here, we have knight f6, bishop b3, and you still cannot capture the knight, because bishop a4 will trap your queen. That's the problem which I was dealing, white is threatening knight takes knight, bishop a4. So I captured the knight on d5, b takes d5 and bishop a4 is the main threat so what should black play now? Playing castle isn't the best as I can capture on e6, forking the pieces, so in this position, if you think, queen c5, to rid out from the bishop attack, well dude, 
queen takes pawn, rook slides knight check, take take, and white have more sufficient pieces to create problems to the insecure king, black will be destroyed and do you know a fact, stomach acid of human is strong enough to dissolve stainless steel, I need to play correctly and give respect humans because I am a robot, made by stainless steel. I take it, inviting alpha to play bishop a4, castle and I lose my queen, however I have two bishops and a pawn for the queen which is not enough to fight with the queen, I need to close the position with my bishop and pawns, and chess friends if you are enjoying my content then please like and subscribe to my channel, your subscription is a hope to create these great videos. Sometimes you have to let go just to hold on to your sanity, there are people that have mastered making you believe you're the crazy one, this endgame is very easy to understand and enjoy the endgame, with my beautiful piano music. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.